You know what, Kyle? I got a lot of issues. Oh, no. That's and that's all right, me. though. Lay them on me. It's all right. Well, it's a pleasure hanging out with you today. We're having fun here in the Wildwood Lair. Here we are. Thanks for making my guitar sound amazing. Well, I'll tell you what. It's easy to do. This is a magnificent axe. <laughs> a tool of destruction. It is. And very versatile. All these reverend instruments are very, very versatile. They, they, uh, they give you the tools. Remember that in exactly. Step Brothers? When he was going to get a job at Enterprise Rental? <laughs> and the car, he goes, you know, they give you the tools. And that's what reverend does in a strange Step Brothers kind of way. That was a great movie, wasn't it? It was. I dug it. <laughs> Gregory Cockery here in the Wildwood Lair with Kyle Shutt from the band The Sword with his brand new signature model reverend guitar, which is a glorious axe. And we've done an overview where... Ken Haas sat down with you and you guys talked about all the specifics of the guitar. I talked with you on a separate video about your musical activities and all kinds of stuff. And now we're doing individual videos on the specific serial numbered guitars. And this one is serial number 26407, weighing at 7.77 pounds. Those are that's the ones. that's the Danzig model. Yeah, this is the, the John Christ edition. Seven seven seven. Seven seven seven. Those are fortunate numbers. It's the uh, it's <laughs> kind of like the uh, right? the twin city of the beast. You know what I'm saying? You got six six six. You got seven seven seven. <laughs> kind of the yin and the yang. Tis. What? And this is the guitar comes in. Was it three different colors? It is. And this is the what is, is is it just black or is it something more diabolical it, sounding? Gloss black. Gloss black. And glorious, larger-bodied instrument for the larger individual. Uh, nice and light, though. 7.77 pounds is it nice It is chambered. Light. There's a, a wider center block than the average uh, man array. And no F-hole, obviously. Right on. Um, but, yeah, she's, she's pretty. Ain't and, she? and so just so you know, the, the knobs here, folks, you've got uh, two master volumes, a tone, and then the... Of course, the classic Reverend bass contours, which contour. I like to call it the girth, the girth enhancer. But I was incorrect like in that it. because when it's full up, it's just the pickup. And when you turn it down, it's actually taking the girth out. So I should, right, right. I should say it's I, the girth diminisher. I, I, I do roll off just a hair usually, just so that I have a little bit more headroom if I need to jack it up a little bit. When you want to go for the jugular. Exactly. When you want to go for the jugular. Oh, I don't even know. And it helps you, like, if I, I play with a lot of gains, so you can dial in, like, a really beefy tone and then dial back the low end just a touch so that it kind of cuts more through everything else once it once the whole band joins and you've got synthesizers and drums and bass and everything sometimes yes. you're like low chunky stuff can kind of get lost but um i, I found it. that taking a little bit of bass off of there can help it punch through a little i can dig it and we have your signature humbucker back here we do which sounds glorious and then you wanted something that Sounds like a P90, but yet has the functionality of a humbucker. So exactly. it's, it's voiced more like a P90 in the neck, but yet no how many hum hum. Yeah, it's, it is creamy, and, and uh, especially when you get uh, above the 12th fret. Uh, but it just doesn't have that hideous hum that a lot of P90s have. I'm a huge Tom Scholes fan, and uh, oh, yeah. I wanted kind of my pickup combination to kind of like mirror that. Just, you know, kind of really hot bridge pickup paired with a kind of a single coil in the neck. I don't want to down you. I want to make you high. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I don't know what happened there. I just <laughs> I just went all Boston-y there for a minute. Let's hear that pickup. Let's, uh, let's hear the neck without Let's do a clean thing so you can hear what it sounds like. So if you're going like an old school vibe, it sounds killer. Mm. It sounds like sound. Well, let's, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, roll off the bass real quick. It's all glassy. That's the bass all the way off, yeah. Add a little heat to that. Sounds awesome. Middle position. We'll boil it down. Up. Bridge pickup. Thanks for doing all the heavy lifting, Greg. I'll tell ahead. you what, you got a hell of a guitar here, and I like these inlays, which you did because you're a fiendish aquaticist. I, I do enjoy scuba diving, and uh, since this was based on the Manta Ray 
body style, I thought it'd be cool to put the actual like diver down uh, inlays in there. And we also, for my model, uh, it's the first time Reverend has actually done the, the inlaid logo at the top, which is, I just think, oh. a, a touch of class. That is cool. So we'll see if all the other endorsers start. <laughs> They'll say, Kyle got it, I, I want it. it. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool. You well, know, thanks so that, much. That for might be how they say it, actually. Exactly. Just well, like, the, Kyle got, got it, it, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what sound I just made there, but it felt right. That's the sound I make whenever I want something I can't have. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're losing control, which we do here in the Wildwood Lair. We're having fun here with Kyle Shutt from the band The Sword. This is yeah. his new signature model. This specific guitar is 26407. Personally, my favorite number. Uh, Me too. <laughs> All right, cats. We'll see you on the flippity flop. Adios. Mm -hmm.